Hello everyone. Do you like my new go board? What if I told you it was 3D printed by my 3D printer back there? Would it blow your mind? We'll get a bucket because it's true. So I'm working on a project that's kind of really big and it's a secret and I'm not telling anyone except my Discord server. So all everyone on my Discord server, stay quiet. But it requires a custom built go board. And I figure while I'm working on this thing, I might as well show everyone how to make a 3D printable go board that fits together like a puzzle and works. It's a really fun board. It can be split up into four pieces. Uh, each piece is nine by nine, technically nine and a half by nine and a half. And it feels, it looks, it plays just like a real board and it's so freaking cool. Uh, this project is partly inspired by the bigger global Go project that I'm, I'm building as we speak, but it's also partly inspired by just the fact that there's a lot of times when people need Go materials and sometimes they might not know where to purchase them or their funds might be low. Uh, they might not be able to afford nicer boards. They might not be able to afford a board at all. Um, and so I thought it would just be really, really cool to as 3d printing is becoming cheaper more common more ubiquitous uh, i'm seeing libraries have 3d printers now i see maker spaces have 3d printers now making a 3d print file that is a go board that can be printed on any decent consumerable 3d printer so let me just uh share with you a little bit of, of how this works so this board is actually four identical pieces that's what's great about this is it's really simple. It's one print file for a quarter of the board and you just print it four times. They're really solid. They're pretty thick. They don't really bend. There's some slight warping from my 3D printer, but that's just because of my 3D printer. Um, and they have all the grid lines and star points. I even added guide holes that perfectly match to all of the other slots. So if anybody needed to further secure their Go board, they could actually take some two millimeter steel rods for arts and crafts, cut them to the right lengths, which is about eight millimeters, and fit them in the guide holes. And then you get a puzzle piece fit that is secure and won't actually come apart. But even without those guide holes, the 3D printed go board pieces fit together fine and they stay together fine. They have a really great sound about them. They have a really, really great feel and it took about four days to print. So one of these prints uh, took about 21 hours, which isn't bad. That's like standard shipping and handling times and you could just make a go board for yourself. There's different colors. You can print this in any color that you want. If you ever wanted a blue go board, go for it. Print it in blue PLA. The other nice thing is that this board works with standard sized go stones, which is about 21 to 22 millimeters. Um, if you want and need Go Stones for your 3D printed board, uh, you can have a 10% discount with the discount code INCENTE10. Uh, that's also in the description below. I'm giving you all the resources for all the stuff to make this thing. If you feel like you want to get stuff, if you feel like you want to make stuff, um, and I hope that you can take advantage of this and give your own creativity to the Go board. So how can you get this board uh, for yourself? I'm posting these files for free on the internet. There's no reason to make anyone pay for this. This is for the Go community. However, if you want to download the file, you're going to have to do three things for me. The first is to like this video and subscribe to this channel because I do all sorts of Go stuff, not just playing games. And there's a lot more fun content on the way for you all once I finish my builds. The second is to head on over to my sister channel at is it Michaela? The link is in the description and the name is at the bottom of the screen. That is the channel where I put my videos for my other passion, which is involving this project, which is tech. And I built all sorts of really cool stuff and I'm working on a huge Go project that involves tech that I'm gonna be putting on that channel. So if you like tech, you like Go, you like computers, you like robots, all of that cool stuff, I work on it. So definitely give that channel a subscribe, check it out. I would love to see you all there looking at some of my other passions. And finally, go to the Twitch channel for Beginner Go. He was a great resource. He does his own 3D prints for 9x9 Go boards, and he helped me design this, and I couldn't have done it without his help. So go to those three places, and once you do, you can follow the link on your screen or down in the description box below, 
and go to the Thingiverse, which is just the uh, a repository for 3D prints, and just download your file. The only uh, downside I see currently is that there's a little, there was a little bit of warping on my 3D printer, which made a little bit of breaks uh, on the spots where the four boards intersected. However, that's a 3D printer issue, not a print file issue. So if your bed is level and you have the right 3D printer tech and everything is going the way it's supposed to go, um, you shouldn't have that issue. It should it should fit together pretty much perfectly. And I really hope that this could help people that are trying to start go clubs, maybe people with lower funds. Um, the, the, the polymer for the print was like 20 bucks. It was, it was so cheap and that made more than one go board. The other cool thing about this design is that you can just take one of the segments and play a nine by nine game on it. It's, it's small enough uh, that it has exactly nine intersections from here to here and then this is just the boundary so if you did want to just shift to nine by nine you don't need a whole nother board you can just take a quarter of this and go uh, but if anybody wanted a fancier version um i included a nine by nine go board print file uh at the thingiverse link that i had shared with you previously so you can you can do a 19 by 19 section or a nine by nine full. For people interested in trying to learn how to 3D print, I have a link to the 3D printer that I use in the description box below, or you can just Google it, how to 3D print. There's so many resources. So that's that's the go board. That's a 3D printed go board for you all to enjoy. And I really hope you enjoy it. I hope that you download it. And if anyone has 3D printers, let me know how it works on theirs. Like I am so down to see your 3D printed go board works. Um, and I will be adding more if I, come up with more 3D printable additions to the Go board. Uh, yeah, so I'm really excited about this. This took a while to design um, and make into reality, but it's so nice. So I hope you enjoyed this. Like, subscribe, uh, go to Is It Michaela, which is my other channel, check that out. Um, and stay tuned because the thing, the other Go thing that I'm working on is on its way. It's well on its way. There's so much work left to do. But when it's done, I just, I'm so excited to share, share with everyone what I'm building. So I can't wait. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you think this is cool. I will talk to you all later and I will see you on the grid. Take care.